All right, well, the Cote's Cube just got uh, a lot cooler. Maya Gabriel is here. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm great. Um, not as good as you. You just came off an amazing weekend, um, a big night in surfing, the XXL Awards, where you went away with uh, Performer of the Year, the overall performance of the year by a woman, right? Yes. Tell me, uh, tell me the the feeling going into that. Did you kind of know you're gonna win? Cause I I kind of knew you were gonna win. Uh, I kind of knew, but I didn't. I I just thought, you know, because of the way it is, like the performance all year round, and you know, counts paddling and towing. And I just thought my year was pretty, you know, complete. I went southern hemisphere, northern hemisphere. I towed, I paddled, so I thought I had a good chance of winning. But you never know. Now, I know that was a, a pretty a long year for big wave riding. You know, you have El Nino to thank. Um, just tell me, like, what went into that whole season? I know you had injuries, ups, downs, tons of traveling. Yeah, it was a, definitely a long year. Um, you know, Southern Hemisphere was pretty good to me. I uh, towed with Carlos in South Africa on a big day at Dungeons, and then uh, I had Tahiti with Manoa. That was fun, too. Got some great barrels, and I was really stoked. And then when I got to Hawaii, the El Nino season hit, hit and um, that was amazing. We had so many swells, so many huge days. And it was really like it gave us the chance to improve and test our equipment. And if you missed, you know, the 20-footer that you were dreaming about the next week, you had another chance and then another chance. And that's so rare. For us, usually if you miss a set, then you have to dream until the next winter. And uh, this winter was definitely different. And we had Mavericks, you know, I went to Mavericks, I surfed the bay, I had, I told Jaws for the first time on a, on a pretty big day. And uh, so I just think overall, like, I had so much experience, you know, I, I learned so much and I saw so much and I saw so many guys pushing the limits and the girls really stepping up this year. And uh, it was just great. I think I lived a lot, the big wave surfing in a year, maybe a lot more than I lived it in all those last four years, you know. A lot of swells back to back. Now, um, let's talk about the XXL Awards. You know, it's a, you know, it's a big night, I guess, for, uh, for big wave surfers. It's a night where you get to dress up. Do you feel like there's pressure, you know, to really step it up, get a hot dress, and really, like, put yourself out there looking good? I like to get a hot dress and look good, but um, I don't feel the pressure. Like, it's just me, you know. I just go into that night like it's me and I just dress up because I like it and I feel pressure about performance not not the way I look <laughs> yeah I know I know um, the host Sal was kind of like you know giving you giving you some stuff about like you know like my girlfriend charges harder than me do you ever you know do, do you ever find that like you know guys are intimidated because you surf like bigger waves than all of us uh, I think there's both, you know, some guys will get intimidated, some guys will support you more than anything, and some guys will be jealous and won't like you at all. <laughs> you know, you get all different vibes, and um, I think in the end of the day, it just really depends on who you're dealing with, and if they're happy, who they are, what their life is all about, and, um, but I, I usually just focus on people that support me and that like what I do. <laughs> never mind the haters. Never mind the haters. Well, you know, that, that winter probably took a lot out of you physically. Yeah. Um, so tell me about uh, summer. You know, what, what, what are you going to do to stay in uh, big wave shape? Well, travel. You know, Southern Hemisphere is on and it's going off already. I missed Tahiti because I had a serious injury. And I'm all recovered now, and I can't wait to go to Tahiti, South Africa, and Mexico, and do all you know it all over again. So no, no rest, no rest for Maya. You're just going straight back into it. Oh, I was resting, recovering from my injury, and <laughs> that was my rest right there. And now I want to serve. <laughs> so. All right. Well, um, we're going to be looking forward to seeing you in the barrel in Tahiti. We're definitely going to be watching you, and uh, always a fan of your your big work right here, yeah. overall performer of the year. And we're going to actually. We're gonna take you in the studio and just get a couple photos of you. Sounds good. Thank it's, you. Don't be scared. It's easy. Okay, kid. Okay, kid. Okay, kid. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation in Kote's Kill. Kote's Kill. Kote's Kill.